Awesome. Hallelujah. What's going on, everybody? We're in Tent City, baby. We're partying down with Jesus. <laughs> Celebration every day, all day, baby. 24-7. Jesus is our rock, baby. And this is how we roll. Raising the roof in Tent City, baby. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm just having a ball. Yippee, yippee, yes, y'all, with my big brother, Jesus. I always wanted a big brother. I got one. Hallelujah. He came and showed everybody how to live this life as God pre presented it in the Bible here. In his words, his uh, holy inspired words, uh, every word is alive. Every uh, word has God's very breath infused in it because it's inspired by him and he is alive hallelujah hey guys i'm just coming to you with the upper room where the world meets to pray as one through the holy spirit of god which you receive when you ask jesus christ into your life as your lord and savior your personal lord and savior he saves you man and now we receive god's almighty spirit his very presence living within you an extension of god hallelujah now it says and father the son the holy spirit three different yes but one almighty god anybody who breaks up that godhead is foolishness because they say God's not capable. Here's God. We're going to stick him in a box and we're going to close the lid. No, God created the box. He's bigger than the box that everybody puts him in who denies the Godhead. All these false religions out there, man made religions, making them pesos off of God's word instead of giving it the way God gave it to Moses, gave it to us through Jesus. They're trying to give it to, to you the way they want it to, and it denies you of that Holy Spirit power. So you're sinning against God with these false religions, and now they want you to lean on them instead of fighting and having a friendship with God Almighty. Through Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. 1 Timothy 2.5, one mediator, one between God and man. That's the man, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All right, guys. Whoo, Holy Spirit, have your way, hallelujah. Now, it's called Showing Appreciation is today's uh, title of the devotional, and I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Now, we're in uh, 1 John, 2nd, 3rd John, and then they got Revelation. John wrote the book of John. Um, he's he's a was an amazing man of God, and like all our brothers and sisters in the past, but he wrote, he wrote a few books here in the Bible, and it's really amazing. And uh, we're going to get into his his writings, and it comes out of the first 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 epistle of John, First John, um, three, sixteen through eighteen, and this, and it goes like this. I'm working out of the New King James Version, Nelson Study Bible, great translation of the Bible, and uh, we're going to get busy. Ready? Hallelujah! Here we go. Holy Spirit, who have your way? Verse sixteen says, "By this we know love, because He had laid down His life for us." And we also ought to lay down our lives for our brethren. But whoever has the world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts his, up his heart from him, how does the love of God abide in him? Question mark. Hmm. All right. Praise the Lord. Now, verse 18 says, My little children, let us not love in the word or in tongue, but indeed in truth in deed and truth which means do a deed we talk about doing stuff for people and we we don't we don't activate it you know words are cheap i always wonder what that that um what that meant but words are cheap actions are powerful right actions are priceless we'll go from words are cheap to um words are, are actions are priceless man praise the lord now it says right here in the study note I'll, before i get into the devotional which was sent in by chris grove from oklahoma go sooners baby <laughs> praise the lord but back to the program here verse 17 study note in my in my in my study bible says good means course of life living or livelihood um, this same Greek word is translated life in uh, verse, uh, chapter 2, verse 16. It refers to the material objects that sustain life. Therefore, the need that is mentioned is for food, clothing, and shelter. Now, believers can lay down their lives for fellow believers by giving them some of their livelihood to those who are in need. Which means, when well, you got enough, guys. Don't be afraid to give away because God has blessed you with abundant, you know, money, this, that, whatever you got extra, it's because God blessed you with extra, not to be, you know, not to have extra, but to share the extra. This is what the Holy Spirit has revealed to me in my life. I'm on a fixed income. I work, I try to pick up jobs here and there to, 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 to expand, you know, and have extra money, but God always provides. But the little bit of money that I have, it's not my money. It belongs to God. Like the apostles, um, uh, Judas, you know, um, he carried the money. The apostles, anywhere the apostles went, Jesus, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, everybody, wherever they went, they had money on them. 
to share with those in need. And that's what we need to do. Now, it says, by giving some of their livelihood to those who are in need, by giving our material possessions to others, we can demonstrate the same type of self-sacrifice, the love that Christ demonstrated at the cross, guys. Because he gave his life, we can give a loaf of bread, we can give a $100 bill or more if you have it. Whatever people need, give it and supply it for a man. Um, this is where the real reward comes in. If you're greedy, there's no reward because really, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I have a little bit, but when I give that little bit away, <laughs> what I get in return in my heart, there's no, there's no money amount can make me feel that good. It's priceless feeling that I feel the reward that God gives me in my heart when you give away, guys, okay? Oh, Holy Spirit, have your way. Hallelujah. Now it says in verse 18, study note says, to love in word is to speaking um, is to speak loving words, but to stop short of doing anything to prove that love. The opposite of loving in the word is loving deed and truth, which means you do the good deed that you talked about, and that comes in truth, man, you know, and it's amazing. Um, it's just beautiful the way God words his, you know, how he inspires from the kingdom of heaven with the spirit to John, to me, to you, and how beautifully everything is put, man. Don't mind me, I'm emotional because, uh, you know, um, you know, just when I think I don't have a lot, I got enough because I got Jesus Christ. That's all I need. The kingdom of heaven awaits me and all the riches there. And I have so many beautiful blessings. This little table, my glasses, the little case it came in, um, my coffee cup from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> I mean, little thing, my little markers from the Dollar Tree. I'm so blessed, man. Dollar Tree, um, you know, uh, peanuts to feed to the squirrels, man. You know, like life is good, man. I got shoes on my feet. I got food in my belly. I got a roof over here that I can get. And I got a tent right here I can be under as well. I got a roof over my head, man. I got oxygen in my lungs, man. But the most important thing where I feel so rich and blessed, I got Jesus Christ. I got, the, I got God's very presence living within me. Jesus Christ, hallelujah. And this friendship with Father God through Jesus, praise Praise God. All right, guys. I love starting it off with the Word of God, man. It's just, woo, flame on. <laughs> like, uh, I can't remember the, the Marvel character or whatever, but flame on. Holy Spirit power, right? Praise the Lord. Once we pray, Satan's got to go away. That Holy Spirit fire just burns him away. But let's get into this, guys. It's sent in by Chris Grove. Like I said, Oklahoma, USA. Never been there, but seems like a wonderful place. And um, like everywhere is wonderful. Because why? Because God is everywhere and he's wonderful. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord, guys. Now, we're going to get into this right now. It says, my entire life, my entire adult life has been dedicated to my wife, our four children, and now my grandchildren. It says, I took my family camping. Uh, coached a little softball league, coached in a little league, and drove a station wagon. It says, um, I showed my love for my children in the best way I knew how, by spending time with them. My kids um, now live, my kids, uh, I'm sorry, let's see, I'm, let me, help me out, Holy Spirit. I showed, um, I showed my love for my children the best way I, I knew how, by spending time with them. Because time is the best gift we can give one another. Before I go on, the Holy Spirit stop me right here after you help me find my spot. But the time is the best gift we can give one another, you know. And also to share the extra that we have in our lives. Because we need a little bit. And when you got extra, it's because God has blessed you with that to give away. Hallelujah. Not to hold on to. Because you're paranoid about the future and everything. And oh, I ain't going to have enough. And God will always provide. Hallelujah. Now, it says, my kids now live all over the country and have careers of their own and their own families. I miss them greatly. One day I ended up in the ER emergency room. It says I needed a triple bypass open heart surgery two days later. Wow. Hallelujah. It says I went under anesthesia knowing that my wife and friends were praying and waiting in, and praying in the waiting room for me. It says neither my wife nor I knew that our four, that our four children had dropped everything to travel hundreds of miles to be there. They just left all their, their everything, man, and just came to see their dad, man. Boom. That's that's powerful, right? They laid their life down like Jesus laid their, his life down at the cross for us. Praise God. It says, now when I woke up in the recovery room, I was surrounded by more love than I ever hoped to receive. My children demonstrated their love for me just by being present, guys. Being in someone's presence, visiting them, taking time for other people. Instead of hiding away in the house, we got to put our lives on hold and we got to go visit people, man, and be in their presence. That's the real true gift, right? Praise the Lord. Here is as uh, Chris is speaking, Brother Chris. Hallelujah. It says, I felt, he said, he, he felt overwhelmingly appreciated. And that bleak October day turned into the best day of his life. Hallelujah. Wow. Ooh, man, praise the Lord. 
Now, it says, when I consider how loved I felt that day, I think of God, how God must feel when we set aside time for prayer and praising Him, guys, which means in His Word, giving Him thanks, praise, even crying for help. He loves that as well. Spending time in His presence. Anytime, because we put all the distractions around us here down, and we and we give our full and undivided attention to Him. That's love, and He's got to feel so loved, just like our brother Chris did here, guys. Hallelujah. Now it says... I think that of God, and that's how He must feel when we set a time. We set time for prayer and praise. Showing sincere gratitude is one of the ways we can show love for God, guys, and how we can show love for others. Not with just our material possessions, but spending time with them, making that phone call, sending that text message, you know, and whatever, whatever way, shape, or form, man, you know, show that appreciation, and it's received by that person. It's just. Like, he, here he is on a day in a hospital room getting a triple bypass surgery. And, you know, with all, every, I can imagine cutting them up, doing doing what they needed to do. The doctors did, did the surgery. How he must have felt, you know, in pain. But all that went away when he saw all these people out there, you know, there that showed up for him, man. Praise the Lord. Now, we want to show our appreciation to our dear Father in Heaven because... He's given us so much, guys, you know, and um, I just love him every day. Um, I can't get enough of spending time with Father. Um, it's where I find my joy, find my peace, and it's just amazing, right? And uh, guys, get out there. Take, take time for other people. Take time. Even with material things, it's wonderful. But there's time, uh, you know, when we spend our time because time is the best gift we can give one another. And when we, sh when we take our lives and put it down and we go to visit call make a phone call whatever it might be that's when people really get excited you know and uh, it's just amazing um the appreciation he had the appreciation that we need to show god and spend time in his beautiful presence guys because he's given us everything every heartbeat right now boom 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 thank you lord thank you lord we have to thank him all day boom boom <laughs> every breath <sighs> thank you lord oh <sighs> man he loves to hear from us guys in any way you know, bad day, good day, praising him in his word. He's speaking to us because when we pray, we talk to him. When we read his word, now he speaks to us, guys. But spend time, set time aside. Put your life down for Father God. As, um, you know, we read here in the uh, this devotional how these families put their lives down to come visit their dad. Let's put our lives down and put everything that we like doing aside and lay it down. And let's uh, spend time to, some time with Father God. Holy Spirit saying, wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up right about now. Hallelujah. Peace be with you and get the V-I-C-T-O-R-Y victory in Jesus' mighty name. When your day ain't going your way, crying, sad, and fear, just pray. Satan's got to hit the road and go away. Hallelujah. All right, guys, I'm out of here. And if I don't, if uh, the good Lord takes me home before you, I will. Leave the lights on like Motel 6. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. That's for you, Brother Gary. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Get out there and, um, you know, spread that love of Jesus any way you can. And take time to spend time with Father God. Hallelujah. Peace be with you. Woo. Yeah.